up guys it's nitro ludxy and welcome back to survival and adventures made on creative and played on survival now today's video i'm going to be talking about a lot of updates as well as big changes in sma and on my youtube channel some things i think i just saw. wow mr bossum just got shot a mile away from top six so anyway before we start today's video make sure to smack that like button and also if you're new here maybe stick around for the whole video because there is some vital news and recently we have been doing a few news update videos and some interesting story stuff but we do need to talk about them so that you guys know where we're going with sma because some of you think that SMA is going to end and some of you think it's going to start elsewhere. Now, I'm going to give you all the answers to these questions and do not worry, we will still do a regular episode during this episode, but we are going to be going on a lot more adventures. What the whole idea is, is ever since I changed into a dog, um, we haven't known if Dr. Forehead has gone missing, if he's in an alternate reality. We don't quite know what's going on. All we know is is that SMA, as we know it, is changing and forever adapting and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So much so that you guys now know that I have a survival Pixelmon adventure server where there is not an, just an IP. You have to download an actual mod pack to actually access it. There will be a video probably later this day to actually giving you a step-by-step -step how to actually install to get onto the mod pack so that's a massive massive thing for you guys that you can actually come on the regular sma world exactly how you see it and by the way slightly improved and relevant to pixelmon um you can connect now it's up it's live it's running it's in its beta currently as of today's video 303 video but uh very soon obviously by the time you're probably watching this the server has had massive development and massive changes it's all in production it's working and it's in good order so what can go wrong there guys you guys can definitely get involved again by joining that server so again what updates are we going to be doing well one update is we are going to be going on much more adventures and also we are going to probably probably do a series within survival madness adventures uh where we actually go on holiday for a few weeks we are debating on that where we go on holiday and actually leave this world but still continue the daily series also if you didn't know uh survival madness adventures has been one year and one week old as of the first video uh but once we get to about 360 episodes or 350 i can't remember how many days are there in the year 356 55 oh my goodness i can't think of it right this second but basically as soon as we've got a whole year of episodes bear in mind that i deleted about three or four um episodes due to some issues that i had for copyright for music uh, right when I first started so those videos are now currently deleted I will give you guys at least one year of episodes meaning if you watched an SMA video every day once a day it would take you a year to complete every single one of those episodes bear in mind I might actually count videos like these as not actual videos um, I mean it is a video I mean for you kids that love the series will absolutely love hearing all these updates but today I think I'm going to change the episode I think we are going to be talking about uh, a topic I think we should actually change today's episode instead of doing a big crazy adventure let's actually have an inspirational video something that we could just talk talk about something that you guys can actually get involved in and um you know make changes and and think about the future and stuff like that a bit of a real life episode i think would be quite interesting so if everybody could come to my house and we could meet there and we could be like oh pretend story time with nitro so i guess this episode today is probably the most real life episode that you're ever gonna get so shall i tell you a story i will tell you in this video some really cool facts that only people that have stuck around to this point will actually get to know about me so if you didn't know my name's luke pickering i'm 20 years old I live in the UK and I have, I'm nearly 21 years old. I was born on July the 3rd and I 
have been playing computer games since the age of two years old. So about 18 years ago, I played my very first console and that console was a Nintendo 64, I think. Um, and I used to play any type of game. I was allowed back then to play any age or any game whatsoever. Um, and the games were very different back then, guys. Like, it was 2D. Um, and, and all the games were like, just the graphics on them were just absolutely nothing as it lives up to today. Um, but literally, I was, I've been playing games since I was two years old. And I have not stopped since. If I this is gonna sound sound pretty sad as like on a nerdy level, in hours of actual physical game time, like this right now, what we're like walking around, like looking at Shadow right this second and looking at Toxic right this second is what you call game time. So every second I have probably played, I have probably out of the 20 years of my life, I have probably invested six years of actual physical game time and maybe even more i've actually no light word of a lie i have sat in front of a gaming console or something probably more than six years and i'm not even joking when i mean probably more i literally mean maybe even seven or eight and I wouldn't even underestimate if that was slightly more. It does sound like, oh, Luke, you don't leave your room. Well, basically, um, when I used to go to school, I'd go, you know, I'd go to school and I'd come home and I'd play the game. I'd play it be uh, before I even went to school. Um, I used to also, when I was younger, I used to not like going to school all the time. So I would just sometimes be like, I want to play games. So I would like be sick. Uh, not like physically, but I would be like, hey, I didn't want to go to school and I would play games and I would get in trouble and stuff like that. Um, I literally have lived and breathed video games since the age of two years old. And now I've been able to channel that gaming side into YouTube where I've been able to develop videos for you people to watch uh, and be entertained by my content. Uh, again, guys, this is very real life trivia about myself. So if you like want to stick around and learn something Sorry about the history of my life uh, Through gaming stick around because this is for the fans because a lot of you guys always wonder You know, what do we do and sometimes you guys don't like the real life because it takes a sense of the story away um, But since survival madness adventures is our first series, I would say our first proper series um, I'm now trying to steer it in a different direction where I want you people to know a little bit about me more. So um, going back onto the topic, I have been to like normal school, like primary school, secondary school. I then studied in military college. I went into literally military college where I was like, left, right, left, right, left, right, give me 20. You know, like literally went to military college. I completed that. Um, I've always worked in a job since the age of 13 years old my first job i used to work at a charity shop and i would actually work with a van driver that would drive around and collect these bags that basically i would post leaflets in your house and you get a little bag that said post you know post for charity and i'd get in about 10 pounds per like 250 doors which took about two hours to do which would trust me was a long time uh in my opinion and then basically i would then have another job where you would go back two days later and you would see if anyone had left any bags outside and i would then collect those bags with the van driver thus being paid as well and when i turned 16 i worked in a bar slash nightclub in the uk you can uh, work at bars at 18 and you can also drink at the age of 18 legally uh, in the UK so basically I worked at a bar at 16 years old and I was the dishwasher boy to where I would go around and I would collect all the glasses that had been drunk and I would dishwash them and I would clean them and I would work on the weekends and from then I got upgraded to being a chef to where I would actually make and cook pizza but I would cook it in a, uh, a wood burning oven meaning that um, basically in the wood burning oven uh, you, you basically it's a huge massive stone cooked oven where you've got to light it physically you've got to put the logs in the oven you've got to make the pizza so if there was any way of making pizza the that is the hardest way ever 
to make a pizza and the best way to cook one too so i used to like chef and cook pizzas and i used to make uh cook other food as well like steaks and eventually i turned 18 years old and i got upgraded to be a barman and i worked up until i was 19 uh, and a half and then I started developing my YouTube channel uh, originally on Nitro DX. I didn't upload child-friendly content. I uploaded various different games, anything that was new at the time. And then I... You're probably thinking, where did I actually go to college at this point? I went to college at 18 to 19 and a half, I think. Oh, sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got that story completely wrong. I went, went to college when I was 16. And that was when I was doing the dishwashing. And I finished when I was about 17 and a half. Yeah, 17 and a half, nearly 18. So I've basically done everything. So when I say I've played computer games for all my life, I literally have. But I've always worked since the age of 13. I've always been doing something. So I haven't just focused my life around games completely. But in a sense, I have. Because now this is my job you know being able to be an entertainer it's absolutely amazing to be able to make videos for you guys to watch and come up with great stories and stuff recently i think you know there's been a bit of change within the stories i'd like to do scenarios and funny things like that uh, and obviously today this is another massive change where i'm actually having a real trivia slash story if you don't enjoy them let me know in the comment section below and we won't i won't talk about my life and things like that and i won't tell you stories and stuff like that i could have another series where you could get to know me a little bit more i probably will do a vlogging uh, series on this channel bear in mind i actually have started a vlogging channel haven't uploaded any videos to it but i do plan to upload videos to it very very soon so a lot of changes server nearly one year worth of episodes um i mean so much has actually gone on like i'll tell you something that really is annoying but something that hopefully i can look back and actually laugh at um my upload speed is 0 0.98 so that basically means the video that you're watching right this second actually took 342 minutes to actually upload to youtube meaning that it actually like i, I physically when i'm uploading as well I can't really do anything like I can't play other games online um, you can't I can't stream movies I can't do anything whatsoever and I uploaded two. Uh, I mean I upload two videos every day without fail without fail literally um, and obviously some videos are shorter and some videos are longer but I actually can't get ahead of myself so like people let, uh, that like other YouTubers and stuff, they actually get about a month ahead of themselves. I physically cannot. I'm actually recording every episode that you see a day before it's released. Uh, and then I actually edit it on the same day and then release it. So my social life, as in real life at the moment, is been okay. But because I'm so dedicated to the, my job and dedicated to make videos for you guys um basically i i don't really go out and do things as much as i used to um i am planning on changing a lot of things uh i'm looking in my real life to actually be moving house uh in the next within the next six months or maybe a little bit later and i'll have much better upload speed and i'll get ahead of myself and there'll be a lot more projects because i'm not gonna lie if i actually had better upload speed i'd be able to live stream and actually get you viewers involved even more uh, but all in good time that's all i've got a bit of advice for you guys all in good time that good things come to, to come to people that wait um but that's only uh, i i'm sorry i say that i'm thinking well you got to go out and get those things too so again today's video a little bit different but i think you guys might appreciate me talking a little bit about what i do now you might ask a question do i enjoy minecraft now i'll be honest with you when i started minecraft i did not like it whatsoever i was like what is this game you know it was like <gasps> and all the kids are like oh my god and then basically i didn't really like it and then what happened was uh i met other youtubers or people that weren't even youtubers at the time i mean seriously i've been here from day one since the game was released uh on xbox and i was like oh my i was like how do i know so i'm 20 I was like 17 and a half or something. And I was a totally different person. Oh my. I used to play games all the time. I mean, I haven't played another game really for about a year. I've only played Minecraft. I've been in this world. Literally. 
for about a year. I mean, obviously, I don't even know. I don't even know. I think I think if on game time, I've probably been about 200 days in this world because I actually leave my Xbox on because these guys, these amazing guys that are building right now, um, they actually build and prepare the mini games while I leave my Xbox on because sometimes I've got to edit, sometimes I've got to do other things. Like it's very, it's very hard to be always in the same world especially literally when you think about it i can't get ahead of myself on uploads if i could get ahead of myself i promise you now i probably would have 50 smas just like stocked up sitting there just like waiting just like to record but nope this video was recorded yesterday and yesterday's video was recorded the day before and you probably think how do you come up with all these ideas so quickly well it's time mate it is time it takes time to actually get to know them actually i will tell you a little bit of trivia just before we get to the 20 minute mark because that's what we're aiming for today um i will say that playing video games and watching movies has taught me what i know today literally i have played hundreds and completed hundreds and hundreds of video games all different aged all different types racing shooting rpg and i'm telling you everything i have played everything and i have done pretty much anything there is in gaming and i can play it on the hardest difficulty and i can beat it blindfolded some games okay i really can uh and that's simply because i again i've lived and i've breathed video games so i only deserve it to myself to be now working in the industry such as this uh, video games and YouTube uh, but I will be making a lot more changes in the future I don't know what direction we're going to go in uh, I know that I'm going to stick with Nitro DX being the, who he is that he is now um, I don't know if mine I don't think Minecraft will be around forever I do think that Microsoft are looking to make like a Minecraft 2 and all these other marketable ploys because that's what actually happens in this industry I've seen it done time and time again um, I do think that there will be a lot of changes in the years to come. I would, I, if you ask me where do I see myself in a year, I physically do not know. If you want to know some trivia about what I currently want to do, I actually want to look about maybe getting back into education. Um, you know, I am 20 years old and uh, getting back into education seems like a good idea. I actually, again, oh my goodness, I could just talk about a load of things about me, guys. But I'll tell you now. When I was your age or much younger, I, I really didn't like education. I really did not enjoy it whatsoever. And I'll be honest with you, now that I'm a little bit older and I can actually see things a little bit differently, I actually really want to get back into education. I really want to learn. Uh, and I will tell you this now. If any of you guys, any of you kids want to eventually be a YouTuber or anything that consists of reading writing you need to go to school um school is a very important place uh it's not it's not the best place because there's a lot of things like when i went to school i used to get bullied um and eventually i overcome those bullies because of age and learning and adapting but i will i cannot cannot stress how school is very 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 important and i will be honest with you especially that parents that watch my videos um, I re only very recently and very recently as in within the last six months of this video have really matured and changed my perspective on, on education. I used to be very negative about it uh, and I used to not agree with education in certain areas but I cannot stress physically how important it is to go to school. Um, it literally, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing now. I wouldn't have the intellectual speech or uh, ideas or acting or anything whatsoever if I didn't go to school. Even though I've developed most of my skills all by myself, I've never been taught how to record. I've never been taught how to edit. I purely learned myself. But I wouldn't have had the basic set of skills of reading and writing and maybe a few bit of math skills, even the... Uh, the even I'm trying to even try think of the word that I can use so that you guys un uh, understand. You know, uh, basically education is very important. So I think that pretty much sums it up for today's story with you guys. It's a real. I think I'm going to call this episode "Real Life Story." Um, if you guys enjoyed it, let me know, and I might actually do a little bit more of real life stories. 
it's totally up to you because I can talk for ages. If you guys want to learn a little bit more about me, uh, I might even do a vlogging 20-minute uh, video every now and then and just purely talk without any cuts and edits and uh, literally just go on about it. I would be very interested to know your feedback. I, I it's, it's a bit strange that I did it in an SMA video purely because SMA is meant to be mini games and a story, but I do think that it is important for you guys, especially you kids out there, to have a realization of the real world and that, yes, I am a character, but I think it's important. I have responsibilities as a role model to make sure that you guys um, do know the difference between character and reality. Uh, and I don't need to be the one to tell you, but I feel that I thought that it was a good idea for to do it in today's episode. And if you did think the video was good, maybe do drop a like. If you're do new to my channel, maybe subscribe because we do do a lot of fun things here. And as always, guys, make sure to have a good day. Goodbye.